Hey, this is Chuck from Monococ Metalworks. You can see I've got the truck and the trailer this morning. I'm actually in Western Massachusetts and we are gonna do an E-type rescue today. Now, normally when I do these, I just take a couple pictures or I film for 10 seconds. I don't get any footage, but I'm gonna try to do a better job of that today and give you a feel for it. So this is how I usually start out at the hotel with a cup of coffee. All right, I'm getting ready to pull out. The car we're picking up today is a 66 Roadster and the tires are all flat. And so I have brought a spare set of tires and wheels. And I've also brought anything I think I can use to help me out. The car has been sitting outside for a long time. It's been on a car trailer. All the tires on the car are flat. All the tires on the trailer are flat and it has sunken into the ground and there's all kinds of little trees growing up around it. So you can see I've got my shovel, I've got my clippers here. I think they're a bunch of little sumac trees. I got a 60 foot tank strap and I got the floor jack and compressor. Anything I might need. There's a ton of straps and everything, tools. Um, so we're gonna go give her hell. Okay, we're at a little house out here in Western Massachusetts. It's a beautiful morning. As you can hear, there are roosters crowing. There's kind of a lot of stuff around here. And here's what we're after. This car has been sitting back here on this trailer for a long time. And some of the clearing work has been done, but it looks like we've got our work cut out for us this morning. As you can see, the tires on the car are flat. The tires on the trailer don't have any air in them and they are underground. And we've got this stump here that we need to saw out. And uh, yeah, this, this one's gonna be a challenge. I think this is gonna mostly involve me trying to get whatever air in that I can maybe jack it up and out a little bit, and then hooking my truck to this trailer and going a little crazy on it. So the car did have a tarp on it. Sometimes that's bad. I think it did some good here. And of course, we'll show you the car a little bit more later. But for now, we've got to get the ball rolling here. And of course it is very sunny. And I think this is going to be an ugly morning for me. Yikes. Okay. We have cleared a few stumps and cleared things out a little more. I managed to get air in two of the four trailer tires, but one on each side. This one will hold air for a few seconds but it did manage to pump itself up out of the ground in the process. I have a lot of faith in my truck, so let's see if she can drag this thing out. See, <laughs> as you can see, it's coming out pretty fast. Uh, I've got the truck hooked up. I'm dripping, just absolutely soaked with sweat. And it's only been 40 minutes so far. But you can see I've got the truck hooked up. Managed to get this moving with PB Blaster. So we're going to give her hell. We're going to see if this old girl can pull her out. Stay tuned. Okay. Our first attempt was a dismal failure. It didn't move the trailer at all, but there was this big stump here. So we've got that out. We dug in front of all the tires. As you can see, it is hot and sweaty, but you know, I've been down this road before. Um, I had to kind of slow down so I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> but anyway, this is how it goes. It's a struggle sometimes. We're gonna give her another shot here. So wish us luck.
Okay, digging out the stumps and being connected directly also did not work. However, I hooked this tank towing strap for off-roading that I used to do a lot of when I was younger to the truck, gave it some slack and gave her a yank. Now, as you can see, the strap is no longer connected to the trailer. I had it around here so it wouldn't cut the strap and it ripped that piece off. And I'm digging into the ground now here too. But I have moved it. I have moved it. As you can see, this is where we used to be. So I could have ripped out a stump that's growing under it or I'm over the hump here. So we're probably gonna give her another yank and then maybe I'll hook the truck back up. See, when I had the truck in here, I have a locking transfer case. I had all four wheels locked in low range, but this this dirt and these, you know, chopped up branches are just too slippery for it. And I was on this little hill. So we're, we're getting there. It has moved about a foot. Okay. The next jerk got her going. And once she started going, I decided not to stop. <laughs> so... I've got her out to here and we've got some crud to clean up here, but otherwise we are making progress. So if I can get this pulled up a little further, then we can try to get her off the trailer and over into here. And I do have a winch for that. So that is our next step, but we are, we are getting somewhere now. Oh man, it's hot. And I am still sweating. Okay, how's that for progress? That ended up being as far as I could get the trailer um, because I lost all the tires and I think the axle too. But we are now, and I've got air in three of the four tires on the Jag. Uh, I had four of four, but one blew out. So this one up here is flat. Um, we may put a new tire and wheel on it. We'll have to see. But I'm all lined up. This will push right down here. You can see here where the axle came out from under the trailer. But now we're going to hook up a winch. And I'm going to winch her in. We're really getting somewhere. Hopefully we'll keep having some luck. Okay, we're winching her in. Shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna try to just get a quick little video. <laughs> you ready? Okay, that's enough of that for now. Okay, she's coming in. We're giving the winch a little rest. As you can see, the rear wheels are not turning. I checked, it's not in gear. That's pretty par for the course. There's WD-40. <laughs> Looks like it's got a... Oh, look at that. The muffler of Ferraris. Anza. Oh yeah. Okay, she's going in. All right, she's getting real tough to pull. I got three wheels dragging, one flat, and one wheel spinning. What I would like to have here is a snatch block, but what I have instead is just a D-shackle. What that will do to the, to the cable is kind of curly cue it, like a ribbon on a Christmas package, but we need to get the job done. I know my trailer is not the prettiest. People always say the shop looks so nice and clean. The trailer has been through <laughs> dozens of these E-type adventures. So all the marks on the floor are from this exact thing. Here we go. Okay, she's loaded up. That's the hardest I've ever worked loading one. And it is hotter than hell out here. And just, oh. <laughs> I've been going strong for three and a half hours. Yeah, all right. Well, as you can see, she's all loaded up. She's in there. 
There's the truck. We're gonna go get some gas, stop at a convenience store, get some drinks. But there's where she was. To be continued. Well, I don't know if this will make it in the video or not. But I'm in a bathroom at a gas station up the road. That might be the hardest I ever worked. Not just to get an E-type, but in my life. I am getting too old for this shit. But she's in the trailer. Oh, I gotta move a second. She's in the trailer. As you can see, I'm soaked. So, mission accomplished. Okay, we're at the car's new home. And we are working with the new owner to try to get her pushed out of the trailer. And we put on a new tire and wheel here. Not new, but new to this. The rear wheels are locked up, so we've got that crazy little cart under there. And we're going to see if it holds together. And uh, we're going to see if we can push her back. So, stand by for that. She is out and without a minute to spare. Whew. The getting her out was ugly and it was quite a conglomeration of hacks with winches and cables, but she is out. I did get wet, but only for about a minute. Stu, enjoy, yeah. enjoy your new project. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> there it is. Mission accomplished.